Welcome to Project Ascension's Optimal Leveling Guide Part 2 for Season 7. In this video, we will go over the best ways to level from 1 to 70 and some of the best leveling builds. This video is Part 2 for Optimal Leveling. It's going to cover details that have changed since Part 1 was released. If there isn't something covered in this video, it is most likely already covered in Part 1, so feel free to watch that here. When it comes to leveling from 1 to 15, we'll go over the best leveling routes for both Alliance and Horde starters. For Alliance, you'll want to start in Northshire. First, grab the starting quest, A Threat Within. Bring it to the Soldier Within the Abbey. This is when you want to pop your Aura and Pot of EXP, if you are using them to start your leveling. Pick up the quest, Cobol Camp Cleanup. But before you head to, that, to do that quest, head back to the starting NPC, William, and pick up the quest, Egan Pelt Skinner. Go around the Abbey to Egan Pelt Skinner, passing in the quest and picking up the Wolves Across the Border. It is strongly suggested to complete both Kobold Camp Cleanup and Wolves Across the Border quests at the same time. Keep in mind the Wolves quest is a pickup quest. Pass in both quests. By doing this, you should hopefully have reached level 15 by this point and start the dungeon process. If you did not run a pot or Orvi XP and still need experience, head back to the starting NPC, William, and grab the following quests. Millie Osworth, and Brotherhood of Thieves. Head around the Abbey towards Millie, passing in the quest and picking up Millie's Harvest. You will want to do Millie's Harvest and Brotherhood of Thieves at the same time by crossing the bridge. If you have a group that is running early AoE, you can also farm these mobs for experience instead of doing quests. When you pass in Millie's Harvest, pick up the quest Great Manifest. On your way to do this quest, pass in Brotherhood of Thieves, then proceed to head upstairs of the Abbey to complete Great Manifest. Head out of Northshire, picking up Rest and Relaxation from Falcan. Pass in Rest and Relaxation in the Goldshire Inn. Then head out to Remy two times, picking up Fishy Peril and passing it into Marshall Doggin. For Horde players, you'll want to start in the Valley of Trials. Speak to Kaltunk, picking up your place in the world. Head over to Gornick. This is where you'll want to pop your Aura slash Pot of EXP passing in the quest. You'll want to pick up Cutting Teeth. But before heading to the quest, on your right, you'll want to speak to Fargaze, picking up the quest Vile Familiar. Now head towards Vile Familiar quest, killing your 8 boars on the way. Then kill 8 Vile Familiars. Once these are done, instead of heading back to pass in the quests, head west and speak to the NPC Tanazua to pick up Sarkoth. Sarkoth can also be picked up at level 1. Once this quest is complete, head back to Hanazua and pass in the quest. Make sure to pick up the second part called Sarkoth. Then finish by handing in your other completed quests. That should bring you to level 15. If you are not level 15, you can kill mobs, speak to Foreman Thrasril, picking up lazy peons, or grabbing the quest called Earthcaller. When it comes to leveling from 1 to 58, the most important thing to do here is dungeon spam. This video is strictly going to cover only dungeon routes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you have to have someone in your party make a macro. So the macro is going to look like this, slash invite, and then the player's name, and just make a line list down of slash invites. This is so that when you get an unfavorable dungeon, you can vote kick two of the players. Then the remaining three leave the dungeon to reinvite everyone to ensure that you can get a better dungeon. When it comes to better dungeons, the top best dungeons to always take if you get them will be Stockades, any of the Scarlet Monasteries, and Ragefire Chasm. At any point in time, make sure to do these dungeons if you see them. In A tier, the best dungeons to do, which are just slightly worse than S tier, are going to be Shadowfen Keep, Dead Mines, and Razorfen Down. Now, for most of these dungeons, they are self-explanatory. However, for Razorfen Down, for it to be worth it, you do have to take this specific route. You need to jump down and then backtrack a little bit and walk up this ledge to be able to skip majority of the entire dungeon so that you can get straight to the boss. In B tier, you can do Muradon. This is specifically for the quest. Only consider it if you get purple, and you're in the level range to do the quest. Otherwise, this dungeon is not that great. If you are one level off from 58, so if you are level 57, you can consider Zulfarak or Stratholme. Zulfarak, for most times, I would probably say pass. However, with Stratholme, especially if you get main gate side, you can do the very first quest of the flesh, kill the undeads at the very first pull, and then pass in the quest and complete it. Every other remaining dungeon is a 100% skip. Do a vote kick and start over. These would be Black Fathom Deeps, Black Rock Depths, Dire Mall, Nomergon, Lower Black Rock Spire, Razorfen Crawl, Skolomance, Sunken Temple, Uldaman, and Wailing Caverns. Once you hit level 58, we have two options. 
The first option, which is the most common one that everyone has been talking about recently, is going to Yonja Bay Island. This is the ZG Reputation Neck Quest chain. There's four NPCs here that you can speak to. Every one of them you speak to, you can do a necklace quest chain to of multiple, which can easily spike you already up to level 66 to level 68, depending on what the day is. If, however, you are not reputationed in ZG, or you don't plan on doing this, and you want to go a different route than this one, there is still a more optimal route. It's a slightly slower. Let's talk about that part. You will want to head to your major city, whether that be Stormwind or Orgrimmar. For Horde, you want to go through the portal that takes you to Undercity and then take that portal straight to the Blasted Lands. For Alliance, you'll need to head to the Mage Tower and go through the portal there. Once at the Dark Portal, you'll need to speak to your respective commander, taking the Dark Portal quest chain. Proceed to head through the portal and complete the quest chain, taking you either to Honor Hold or Thralmar. Once there, continue the quest chain into the major building and talk to the leading commander. Once this quest chain is done, your party will want to queue for Hellfire Rampants. In Hellfire Rampants, your major importance is that you do need to kill the first boss and the last boss. You're allowed to skip the second boss. Pull as little or as much as you'd like during this part. The important thing is, is when you kill the last boss to loot the quest item. Once the quest item is looted, have the party go back and pass in the quest. The party will now be able to queue for Blood Furnace. Have everyone queue into Blood Furnace and take the next quest. This will be to acquire 10 Fell Vials. Kill the 10 orcs in the first room, looting them all. Once you have looted them all, either drop down a Khadgar's head to pass in the quest, or teleport back out and pass in the quest next to the commander. Once everyone has passed in the quest, you should now be eligible to go into Sethic Halls. When it comes to Sethic Halls, this is the same quest that you're going to do when you're doing the Jambe Island. Take both quests, proceeding to go through the dungeon as normal. The important thing to remember is in the first boss room, you need to loot the boss as well as talk to the prisoner in the cage. This will allow you to complete a quest. Feel free to pass this in right away. Then in the room right before the last boss, there is a book on the floor. Make sure to loot this before moving on. Lastly, kill the final boss and loot the boss. Once you pass in this quest, you should be max level. If by any chance you are not max level, you can always teleport to Shatrath and do the City of Light quest chain and then fly to your respective leader, whether that be Aldor or the Scryers, and pass in a Fel Ornament or an Arcane Tome. This will guarantee level 70. Lastly, I've posted builds below for tank, healer, and DPS. For DPS, it has no requirements to run it other than taking the legendary RE Soul of the Warden. For healers, the only requirement for this build is starting with healing touch at level one. When it comes to tanks though, I've only posted my bear tank build that I use for prestiging. I feel it's the best build if you're trying to go fast. However, when you're leveling as a tank, just take whatever abilities make sense for your build. All the tanks should work when prestiging. I hope you enjoyed this optimal leveling guide video. If you did and you want to see more guides, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Peace.